Hey guys, it's Bullies and Makeup. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this Nicki Minaj pretzel necklace. Okay, I already went ahead and opened my Palmer's Clay. When you buy it, it comes like this. There's four blocks in here. I just added them together. I actually used two packs of these and I chose the color of lilac. I'll post a link below of where I got this clay from. Okay, so let's begin two packs. So first what I did was roll this into a nice ball. Okay, so that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to add both of the packs together and roll it into a ball. It's going to look like this. And then after you do that, you want to get a nice flat clean surface free of hair because you don't want any particles inside of your necklace because when you bake it, those things will get stuck inside of there. Okay, so after you've rolled your ball like this, you want to place it down on this flat surface and you want to roll it out as if you're rolling pizza dough. So you're going to keep rolling this. And then as you can see, it's going to stretch out. So just keep rolling. Try to keep the back still. Keep on rolling. Keep on rolling it. As you can see, it's gotten really, really long. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. I'm going to show you the full length. From there all the way to there. Okay, so now that we have it stretched out, make sure there's no lumps in it. Make sure it's nice and even. Then you're just gonna take this end like so, and you're gonna cross it over like this. Okay, so you do that with that end. You're going to do the same thing with the other end. And this basically creates the pretzel shape. <sighs> I'm still a little sick, guys. I've been sick for like two weeks now. It's, been a, it's beginning to become a pain in the butt. Okay, so just fix up your clay. Then once you get the desired shape and size that you want, what you want to do is cross this like that. As you can see, it looks like a pretzel now. You can make it more heart shaped. It's your pretzel so you can make it look as desired. Move this out. Okay, so this is how the pretzel looks. And now, what you want to do is take a knife or a scissor, anything straight edge that's sharp, and you want to cut off the edge just a bit to make the ends perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to take this piece off. This one's getting a little stuck in that one. Okay, you're going to 
gonna take this end off too. And what I do is just press it down until it's even. To make a nice edge. Okay, that's good enough for me. You could make it as long as you want it to be. This one's a little more short and fat than the other one that I made. It was skinnier because I made the clay longer when I rolled it. But I like the way this one looks because, as you know, her necklace was really thick. You don't want the necklace to look skimpy and cheap. <laughs> okay, so this is how it came out. As you can see, it looks just like a pretzel, and this is actually the color that she had. So, so now you're going to take your baking pan lined with foil, and you're just going to place your pretzel on there. Okay, you're not going to apply no butter or anything like that. It won't stick to it anyway. Okay. So that's how the pretzel looks. Then on the Palmer's Clay, it tells you how long to bake it for at 275 degrees inside of your oven. It says 15 minutes per... per I don't know, I was going to say por. <laughs> 15 minutes for one fourth inch uh, six millimeters so what I did I baked mine for like about 30 to 40 minutes but I also kept a good eye on it to make sure I would it burn or harden because if it gets too hard it will start to crack crap <laughs> if it gets too hard it will start to crack and this is what will happen it will fall apart and you don't want that to happen So that's about it guys. This after this you just place it in your oven. When the oven is heated at 275, you place it inside and keep an eye on it. 30 to 40 minutes later this should be done. Once you take it out, just let it cool. And to get it glossy like this, I actually use a clear coat of spray paint. It's called gloss. It's also great to use for your um your fake jewelry it helps it not change colors so I figured it would be nice on this because it gave it a nice gloss and then once your necklace is done you can add pearls to it or whatever you want to put on it it's up to you let's see your necklace get creative guys but that's about it thank you guys for watching bye